up, but you don't smash that notification, but mask, you know when I drop that shit? All right, we got me, Scarlet, the man behind the mask. Who am I from XXL? Shouts out to the guy who requested it. Shouts out to everybody else above. My love subscribers, supporters, man. Love y'all, because I love y'all. You know the real MVP? <laughs> All right, bro. Uh, you know what that I like about this XL interview? I wish this shit came out about a year and a half ago when he dropped um bands and tracks like that because I think his North American popularity was a lot better then than it is now. You know what I mean? So I just felt like it would have had a way bigger impact. They, 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 they can't. Cause I remember in my other videos, I said, yo, this guy needs to be XL freshman now, bro. Because you can tell Scarlet, since I've been doing Scarlet videos, he evolves. He does what he feels brings, I don't know, like, so what he desires, right? Like, he does his craft. It reminds me of Kid Cudi, for example, or Charles Gambino, where their beginning music and end music will not sound the same. Where Scarlet sounds now, we're not where he end up. Scarlet's gonna sound a lot, a lot different through a year and a half from now. I'm telling you, bro. It's just, it's just how he is as an artist. So I just felt like, you know, if this interview came like a year and a half ago or a year ago, it'd have been a little bit more, uh, a little bit more, you know, give him a chance to exhale cover freshman list. I don't know. I think it's gonna be hard because I think last year was his time to be with the peers. With like, it was like something cover last year. But with the little skies and stuff, I think that was the 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 niche of freshman he should have been part of. Whatever cover was last year's. I am scarlet. Well, this is who I am. It's just how I feel. I don't know who this year class is. So. I'm from a town called Wolverhampton in England, and um, I grew up there. I grew up, it's just pumping those guys there. had bigger check profiles there. on it. So I was actually sense. born there. And um, the area I was from around there, there was, uh, it's quite industrial. I live quite close to the town centre. So around me was a lot of industrial buildings. Oh, um, so that's why there's all those grimy you know, areas. Quite a lot of open space, like a lot of, a lot of roads, a lot of, a lot of uh, abandoned buildings, areas that were just like cool to explore when I was young. Before I even thought about making music, I guess Eminem was just such a heavy influence on me. Like, I had his cassette and I, I couldn't listen to it around my mom because she didn't like me listening to explicit lyrics and whatnot. Um, <laughs> I did that with really sense of CD. Yeah, I listened to I listened to the shit out of Eminem, like that Slim Shady LP. I had it on cassette. Just got rinsed over and over and over again. I remember I used to go to my cousin's house. Um, I had two sets of cousins, like one set would listen to like, you know, M, 50, all these guys over here, and another set of cousins I listened to, Limp Biscuit, Corn, you know, it was just a crazy <laughs> contrast, but I had like the best of both worlds, and I used to go to my cousin's house and sneak the CDs, you know, I can't listen to them at home because explicit lyrics, so I used to listen to Limp Biscuit like, yeah, fuck this, fuck that, fuck that. you know, like, <laughs> really getting into it as a, as a kid, and then the same thing would happen again, like, with Eminem. I used to be in this band, Myth City. I think I was in a very like experimental stage of what I wanted to do creatively. Um, I wanted to, you know, just experiment with sound. Like it was something that I've always been into. I used to dance, like it was always something I was into, like music and sound. So to finally experiment it, experiment with it, um, I got a taste for that like when I was in a band. We were a four piece. We sounded a bit like Rage Against the Machine. You know, we did like rapping with the, it was crazy, um, but that right there, like it just triggered me and just set me off on like this unusual path of just constantly creating and, and wanting to always make something new. So I lived at home with my mom and two brothers. And when you, there's a rule in my house that when you hit 18, you get kicked out the house. So I watched my two brothers get kicked out. I looked and said, that ain't happening to me. Is it fuck? Nah. So um, I was at college and I was just, you know, thinking, shit, what can I do? You know, and then I started, um, I came across YouTube and, I, you know, I made like three videos and I think I made like three pounds ten in one month. You know, that was enough for me. I was like, all right, cool. If I double down, if I go hard and if I just, you know, just go in, fuck working. You know what I mean? Like, I can just do this. And that's exactly what I did. And then it just went clear. And then I moved out before she could kick me out. 
So I guess that's the first job I had was under the alias Mazzy Maz. And I would just make, you know, just your typical YouTube content that, you know, the, 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 the younger audience is attracted to and likes to enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> the mask was something that I felt like was, you know, crucial to to my visual art and my sound. As I develop and as I grow, my my perspective just changes, and I honestly feel like image and you know aesthetic and and, and all that shit is just a complete waste of my fucking time. Um, you know, I just want to make great tunes now. I just want to make music now. I just want to really get down to business, get in the studio, get going, get writing, get yelling. <laughs> so this one here is an open wound. It's just a pleasant reminder to never heal. And that sounds quite, you know, like it comes from a dark place, but it's not. It's almost just, you know, never forget, like, never forget who you are and what you went through to put yourself where you wanted to be. Like, for me, making music That's is, hard, you, know, you gotta respect that. Starting from square one again, like starting from zero, like minus numbers in the account, no electric, all that shit, like it was all worth it. And it's just a reminder to like never actually heal, never forget. Don't romanticize. All my favorite rappers I ever listened to had the dumbest, up the Gucci man, had the butter, had, had, had the, 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 the ice cream, you got Game of the Face, the, the Butterfly, LA Titan, did a whole bunch of shit to the You got Famous Deck, the whole thing, bro. Lil Pump, all these niggas, bro. Lil Uzi, but it's like, this nigga actually ain't so scene, smart. But understand, you know, you smell good now, but you didn't smell so great at one point. Stay humble, stay down. Stay true to the craft, stay true to your own art. Stay true to your perspective. And that's real shit. That's what this one is here. I'm Scarlord, and that's who I am. You gotta read that. You gotta read that. All right, that was in the You gotta love the man. Man's a hard working man. They shoot so all the man was doing been great music. I told you, man's evolving, bro. He's not gonna be the same next year and a half, bro. He's just not, bro. Man is always evolving. Even from his music from when he first started from band till now, bro. So it's totally different. He just. He just mentally knows how to put himself in a different place, bro. He's a growing artist. He just has that Kid Cudi gene in them, like, the Kanye West gene, just like, always wanting to bump, always wanting to grow. That's why I love this guy, you know, right? He's going to be with something great. Like, really, like, like, for the world to see if he never gives up, bro. He has that mentality, bro. If you know it is, feel from the conscious how you feel about shit like that. That's to other people that, again, I don't know why I did the double shout out, but just want to be shut this drop a comment. Yes, we shut it on my other videos. Call me like a witch, bitch, little dick, put it on your daughter, and still caught a nut. Patty K, Patty K, gotta know your bitch like Sonic K. Maybe I'll pull up in a roller skates, or it might sound like a violin.